Happy New Year, everybody from Eat, Read, Love family. We wish you the best for the coming 2020. Bye! Hi, Virgos. Happy New Year. How are you? <laughs> so what did you guys have just seen? Is it 2020? How are you? Um, sit down. It's just a reading. It's the monthly. So we have moved again to another decade. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, things, you know, t time does go by so fast, so quick, you know, and, and you don't notice it. It's just like 2020. Before they were just thinking about the millennium the when the year 2000 came and now it's 2020 crazy uh-huh so just like your soulmate crazy yes okay. so uh, before, before we go to that shade over there you got a recap relapse is a reading next to this um if you don't resonate with this one that might be your reading so check that out um at the same time um, i do talk a lot over here so you know just Word of advice, if you don't like someone who talks a lot, Chancellor is not going to be the video for you and you, you don't deserve to watch any video because people talk in the video, you know? Mm -hmm. And then also I do practice Vedic sidereal astrology. So if you do not like to, uh, you know, uh, any kind of astrology, this is not the read for you also, okay? So meaning it's not for you. I don't know who this reading is for. And yeah, we're using the quiche deck. Okay, it's my third... Um, um, tarot deck okay it's in the comments with this one it comes in a bundle and then um, we also have um, you know different stuff that comes with it now um we'll be talking about the workshop and webinar later on i have here um you know the, the planets i set this at the january 15 2020 okay so let's see what's going on for you guys of virgo let's see here. it's been a long day virgo a long day. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see here. Get a Knight of Wands. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's 2020. We're still having Doritos. Okay. I swear, I'm going to get an email from Doritos. Why do you bring our product in your reads? Because you guys get, keep dipping in different things. Uh, <laughs> you guys sometimes want cheese, want salsa, want guacamole. You know, now I'm craving for some Doritos then. Not the night of one. So <laughs> but, uh, it's like I can use some bag of chips over here. Because mm -hmm. the person that you're dating is a potato sack. Mm -hmm. You got more action getting french fries from a potato sack than a person who always comes to you as a knight of wands. It's not good when it's the first card if it's not you. Okay? Because if it's you, then you're out exploring the world and you're fine. Meaning if you don't have any attachment, go right ahead. Okay, Nothing's going to stop you. It's a knight of wands. But if you are trying to get in a relationship, then this means trouble. Any kind of pro uh, problem in your paradise where, let me see. Okay, well, mm -hmm, it's right here, okay? Um, you will, okay, let's just say you're a new sub over here. Um, you have Saturn going into Capricorn. Very, very karmic time, okay? Um, because it's his natural home. Last time it was here, it was 30 years ago. Um, so that's three decades. That's crazy. Um, so there will be a time for you to meet. The, I don't know, this is the house of affairs and relation, love affairs. Um, even intimacy is in the fifth house also because this is, you know, a procreation. Um, you will stop resonating with this bag of chips right here. Mm -hmm. um, you will stop, you know, um, dating people who are just casual. Like e even if you, you are Virgo um, or, you know, you're dating one, um, you will be um, feeling like that is not good anymore for me. Because there's, you know, it comes discipline. Discipline comes into your fifth house. Okay, house of dating. So I feel like this Knight of Wands will be canceled pretty, pretty soon if they do not, um, you know, become any kind of serious. And you get another Knight of Pentacles. So this person wants to go in, you know, your life and then also detach from you, okay? So one time they're hot, next thing you know, it's like they don't even make a move. They don't move a muscle, okay? They don't respond to you. You text them, you reach out. They are just under the radar. Okay, that's the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. So, 
They're under the reader, yes. Mm. The world card. Yeah, that's a turn investment right there. Stop associating yourself with some potato chips. Okay? Because why you why you why you be dating this though? I don't understand Virgo. Why? Ask yourself. Um, haven't you learned enough? Haven't you had enough of this uh, unwanted calories with this Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands? I feel like you learn you're gonna learn. Mm -hmm. You're gonna call it a day. You're gonna wrap it up. If it's not, if they're not serious with you for the past thirty years, twenty years, you think the next year they will. Uh huh. I mean, I give it to you if it's one year, right? It takes time. I give it to you two years, even five years at the most. But come on, okay. If it doesn't happen in the fifth year, come on. Okay, just saying. Uh huh. Because the world card here, you're supposed to learn this by now. Mm hmm. In your chart over here though, Virgo, um, there will be a good uh, connection with the father over here also. Um, can be You might even want to move and expand your home. Um, you want bigger, larger, you know, it's just like an apartment that is, you know, that you feel like it's time for me to get, okay? This is what I'm seeing here also. Next to the world card is the Three of Cups, okay? So what's stopping your happiness is actually this person. Um, you can't be happy because they're just, you know, I hate to be brutal. They're just using you for their own happiness and you feel, you know, um, taken advantage. Uh -huh. So it's a fixed sign, long distance, foreign person, you know, that's the world. Um, but you've understand and you've learned this already. Yes? Or you were supposed to. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be happy... I feel like it's not with this person. Okay, you can obsess about this person all day you want, but you know me. I call a spade a Dorito boy. Mm-hmm, right there. Because I was going to say, I call a spade a spade now. A Dorito boy is a Dorito boy. They're always going to be a Dorito boy. Okay? So if you don't know what a Dorito boy is, okay, you know how you get a Dorito and you dip in cheese. So they like to dip. Mm-hmm. And if you're a bro and you're going to say, well, I don't date a Dorito boy, Sally. She's a girl, uh-huh. Well, she's Nathan's. There's a lot of hot dog. Or you want to call her Oscar Mayer, uh-huh. She's an Oscar Mayer, mm-hmm. Sausage, basically. It's a sausage fest over here, you know? It's just, I remember that sausage fest. No, in the kitchen, it's a term that we use sausage fest over here. Justice card, cut down the sausage over here. You know the truth. You know the tea. Mm-hmm. You know the tea. Mm-hmm. You know that this person has not been giving you what you have been putting into the connection. It's time, okay? This is justice served here. Um, I know you feel bad for this person. You feel like, well, but they need me. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. If they need you, you know they always come back, right? That's why they use you. Yes, that's why. That's why they use you for attention, for intimacy for um how to say this uh um sometimes this person also relies on you for emotional support i mean what are you ask yourself i've called this how many times are you a healthcare provider because this person is claiming hmo or ppo mm -hmm. so what kind of benefits do you give this person yes mm -hmm. here we go you're a mess huh so but i feel you virgo that this whole mess is being arranged out uh -huh. Um, you have the justice card, which is good. You have the wheel of fortune, it's good. All right? So you, for you, it's like I'm closing a chapter, Sal. So yes, I understand. Yes, I know. I know, Sal, you're lecturing me. I understand loud and clear, clear as day. I've been dating the potato sack. I know I'm guilty. But here, it's looking um, like, you know, it's a perfect time for you to purge the connection. It's a perfect time for you to let go. It is the perfect time. It's almost like don't miss the boat. Uh -huh. Don't miss the boat. You know when it's going to be the high time for you also to date? A little bit challenging, but 2021. I know you're going to be crying your, yourself. I was like, wait, what? 2021? We're, in, we're only at the 2020 reading, so slow your horses. Well, I do predictions with time. So, you know, it's like don't waste your time dating right now when it's not yet the time, right? Mm -hmm. It's like investing at the worst time in the stock market. You don't buy when everything is like crazy. You understand me? It's a dying economy. Why are you going to buy? You know, stuff like that. 
it all this relationship, everything is strategized. Okay, with the planets. Okay, so I tell you when to go for a relationship. How about that? Mm -hmm. Not this year, not this year. Learn, but you will meet someone though. But you have to learn. You will get the person though. You will be dating. You will meet someone. You have Saturn in your fifth house. That's a guarantee right there for the next two and a half years. You will be with someone. Okay, dating, romantic connection, it's gonna be there. But this person, okay, is gonna be part of some sort of karma. And, uh, you know, it's like, like for you to learn. Not karmic, I said karma. Love is there. Mm -hmm. See, love is there. Ten of Cups underneath the world card, okay? So now you're, for you, for you, Virgo, you're saying, it's like, okay, now Sally, we're talking. Of course I want the Ten of Cups. Because I'm learning, see? I know you are. Okay, so detach yourself here from Oscar Mayer and Dorita Boy, okay? Because we don't need some Pringles. Because this person, once they pop, they can't stop anyway. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. You gotta get it. It's right there. The love of your life, you know, whoever this person is, fate will bring the right one for you, okay? I'm um, King of Pentacles. There we go. Now we're talking sound. We're talking about the King of Coins. Someone who can spoil you. Someone who can treat you right. Someone who can give as equal as you are. King of Coins is very stable. Okay? Um, this can be a businessman, an entrepreneur. But this can be you also. Just saying, Virgo. Um, with the world card, if you haven't learned, you're about to learn. Okay? Um, and with the Wheel of Fortune, if you feel like there was things being slowed down. Knight of Pentacles here with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to move in the house of romantic connection. Saturn is going there. Jupiter will also go retrograde. And that's why I said it's like there will be time in the middle of 2020 where you will meet someone and you will feel so in love and like this is the one, this is the one. Yes, it's the one with the Ten of Cups. Yes, it's uh, you know justice, serve, it's your karma. But you need to prepare for that one. Mm -hmm. Because it's coming, right? the energy is already here. Okay. With a king of coins, they mean serious business. And you will feel very, very lucky. King of coins with a wheel of fortune. The ten of cups here looks as if like it's all you ever wanted. Things that you have always dreamed of is a wheel of fortune uh, is the ten of cups. There's you know, that's a rainbow right there. Mm -hmm. So look up, okay? I feel like it's a new person, of course, with the Three of Cups can be like, oh, someone from the past trying to reconcile. But if you're going to reconcile with the past, then I'm not sure how it's going to be, okay? But we'll see in the extended if you are welcoming them back or if you should just go with the King of Coins, which you have no idea who this person is and we'll just see what the, what this energy is looking at. But all I know is like things are about to go better and go good. Even go big. The Wheel of Fortune is going to be expansion. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Link down there for the extended one. This is the extended one. Next is the extended two, okay? Um, and then everything you need is in the description, the webinar, the workshop, and the, bu the, the bougie. The, um, the quiche deck is going to be in the comments, all right? So, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi, Virgos. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your January. 2019 sun moon rising venus and jupiter um before we start anything for the for the virgos okay well this is a new year so um i wish you guys have a wonderful um year ahead of you right away um we're gonna start first getting a one for each of the zodiac okay i do this for the monthlies um so we'll, we'll pick so the glamour box okay do your um there's gonna be a subscription thingy over there and i'm gonna be a lot of videos about it oh hello rose quartz okay so get that this is a soulmate one or yeah because it's what well, it's love you know need i say more okay so that's that one. Mm -hmm. I'm probably connecting with someone. It's a new year, and um, as a monthly, we do um, four kinds of divination. We have cartomancy, intuitive, and uh, tarot, and the ether. So okay. <laughs> let's begin. Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. 2019. It's been a journey, and we're starting all over again. Here we go, though. Okay. Virgos, do it. Oh, oh, wow. Mm hmm. Get the star card. Okay. 
positive news. Okay, so this is gonna be a good news that's coming out of the bat over you know the coming cycle of of this new year. Um, either you're you're welcoming healing path. You know, it's like you're receiving some sort of intuitive guides also here from what I'm seeing. Um, you're feeling divine. Okay, meaning blessed. Um, that's a good way to come towards the year. You're feeling um, how do you call this? Um, Cleanse even um, this get you know, this is your wish granted the seventh house also so this energy is about How do I say this? I'm um, receiving answers and um, how does uh, not just answer you're receiving more um, Synchronicity there. Okay, so let me see the other person okay. High priestess so intuition wise you are on point. Okay Mm-hmm so this energy is about trusting your guides, practicing esoteric, listening to, um, you know, you have a level of secret with regards to, you know, something is coming and you feel it and you feel, look at this. It's just like you're glowing in the high priestess and this, this energy is just like transmitting towards you. Um, you it's almost like you you're re you're reading some sort of astrology and you got the enlightenment about it okay so you finally got the answer that you needed and that wanted and the answer was yes you know let me see other person you have ace of wands everybody got the ace of wands like a baby of firework okay so ace of wands is a firework energy it's like shazam you know a new fire sign um, something that you're discussing with this person is finally, you know, being opened up. They're opening up towards you and you feel like, well, it's about time, you know, or if you want to meet someone new, it's about time also. It's about the perfect timing over here. This is destiny. Let me see the other person. Is Aquarian also. Uh, Mars has probably left Aquarius already. So, and uh, let me see, because you're Virgo. Okay, it's going to happen. Let me just, uh, let me get where is um aquarius for you okay so 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 house if i'm not mistaken is it okay 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 house so you you will get you will get something here okay as mars moves okay towards your seventh house which is pisces a movement between partnership Someone is going to move. Relocation can be also here. Because Mars is a moving... Mars is always moving forward. Never goes reverse, right? And partnership-wise, if it goes to your... You know, you know, like one thing after the Leo to the to you, meaning, you know, movement comes. Okay, so a cycle is starting already with the person that you're dealing with. Oh, it can be a Leo also over here. Because um, you have a Queen of Wands. But this is also showing your true essence, your true power. Someone is going to talk to you about how they have so much desire. Okay. Which is true, you have your three of wands, that is strong desire. Okay. This is an energy where um, they want to talk to you about a possible commitment, relationship meant. That's a possible commitment right there. Okay. Because the ace of wands is the um, the missing link for the four of wands. Someone is telling you, you know, it's like you complete me, or this is the whole the whole time, this is what I've been waiting for, looking for. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, and it comes to you as far as like let me see. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so someone here wants to be intimate with you also. So they want to move the relationship to, um, can be very phallic, of course. Um, but this is about having a soulful connection, intimate connection that gives you a good direction. It's almost like you knew right away that this person um, is meant for you. If you were intimate once, you had that awakening with this person. Okay, let me see here. This person can be foreign from you. This is a three of wands energy. You're looking forward for this to come. I mean, they're looking forward for you to, to visit also here, the three of wands. Um, I feel here the other person, this is a very mystic person. You could be probably a tarot reader, astrologer also, queen of wands with a high priestess, someone who, who practices the occult also here. Um, this is about relationship and partnership. I feel like it is a Jupiterian energy also, meaning it can be a Pisces. Okay. Let me see what the cartomancy would say. A uh, four of spades. A uh, four of spades for me is a protected union, like meaning it's just like nobody gets in uh, and out alive. Three of spade. Okay, we have three and four. So I feel like for anybody, 
to get into this connection, it's almost like self-sabotage. Meaning, if you allow, I'm just saying, you can date anybody else you, you would want, of course. But you don't want to date. Okay, this person right here feels either that you're dating, because there's the three of spades, they feel like you have options also over here. I know the energy is uh, mixed match. Stay grounded, Virgo. You have someone good coming your way. They really want a relationship. This is the equivalent, the equivalent okay, for me, it's like a, a protected union, the four of spades, okay? So destined, fated, meant to be, okay? Other person over here, they feel like you're fooling around. You're not being serious about it. Vice versa if you're a cross watcher. So they tiptoe to the situation over here because they don't want to get burned. Three of spades is like you can get hurt. Okay. Let me see what is the divide. Three of cups. Okay. So a reunion, a celebration can be a party, a gathering that you met this person. Um, for me with the three of spades, this is more uh, the... Three of Cups. This is an energy where this energy is the same as your guides. Someone is being placed together by, you know, I know, I mean, if you believe in angels, then, you know, it's like there are synchronicity. This is the synchronicity energy here. And that's the two of you it can be same sex at the same time. Um, but there's a lot of things like being coordinated that so that you guys can basically be together because it's protected over here. So there's a union being established. And that's why you have here the high priest. It's almost like someone's intuition is so on point that if it if if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Someone is very, very strong here, intuition-wise. Come back. Which is gonna be granted, they're expecting. This person, they know that they can they have to tread lightly because they don't want to um get hurt. Okay, so this is this energy. So I'm gonna continue this reading, Virgo, as we move forward with these energies. Link down there for everything that you need, you know, crystal box, we have the wonderful um, ones over there. Extended reading is also there. Um, the 2019 reading is also there. Have a wonderful, wonderful January. I feel it's a good thing. It's something new. And I feel like you just need to learn more what this person is up to. Because they're a little creepy. Like, they just thread lightly. Okay? Thank you very much, Virgo. I'll see you again.